Tonight, some scary situations for three Browns players, two of whom were robbed at gunpoint and a third had his SUV stolen. We have team coverage on this, including what the Browns had to say about it today. But first, Matt Rascone has details on what happened and reaction from the owner of the restaurant where that robbery took place. Hi, Matt. Hey, Russ. Yeah, please say it happened right next door to that restaurant in a lot. The owner says none of his staff saw the robbery. They only heard after that several masked robbers had held them at gunpoint. Three Browns players, two separate incidents within 24 hours. According to the police report, two Browns players were at Rumor Bar and Lounge in downtown Cleveland late Sunday night. 3 News has learned that the two victims were Browns cornerback Greg Newsom II and defensive tackle Perion Winfrey. Just after 2 a.m. Monday, they headed to Filter Restaurant off Superior Avenue. We deal with these high-end clients all the time, and nothing like that's happened. Owner Kyler Smith says his restaurant has been there one year, and they don't own the lot next door, where the police report says the players parked their 2022 Ram TRK pickup. That parking lot is something that sometimes is so hard and is out of our control because it's dealing with so much traction that's going on downtown. At about 3.30 a.m., they went to the truck when six masked men jumped out of a car and robbed them at gunpoint. They reported the men took jewelry from one and then jumped in the truck and sped away. Newsom later tweeted, it's a cruel world we live in. Less than 24 hours before that robbery, Cleveland Browns running back and wide receiver Demetric Felton reported having his 2023 Dodge Durango Hellcat stolen. According to the police report, someone driving a gray 2022 Chrysler Pacifica pulled into the parking garage at the May downtown. A witness saw the driver pull around in the garage until they found the Durango. The suspect damaged one of the windows before taking off in the car. We're still trying to gather information like everyone else. It's, it's ongoing. Now, Smith said he hopes police find the guys responsible. Uh, we didn't find any surveillance cameras actually pointed at the lot where the armed robbery happened. Police continue to investigate. At this point, no one is in custody. But we want to continue our team coverage this evening with Nick Camino. And Nick, you have more on what the Browns are saying as they hit the practice field today in Berea. Yeah, good evening, Matt. There's obviously the football side to all of this, but this is something the Browns take very seriously. As you pointed out, they kicked off mandatory minicamp today in Berea. Our first look at all the players as they had to be there last week were the voluntary OTAs. Today, these were mandatory workouts. So we saw Miles Garrett participating out there today, also Deshaun Watson. But obviously, these robberies and player safety off the field, that is always top priority, right? Situations like these really keep things in perspective. And, and at a time like this, football really takes a back seat. After practice today, there actually was not many questions regarding football. All of it was focusing on everything that happened. Miles Garrett was asked for his perspective on all of this. I'm very grateful. I mean, they're my, they're my friends, my teammates. Part, we're all part of a family, so I'm just so glad they're, they're here. And you know, at the end of the day, you know, we, we've got to, got to do better as a community, and we've got to set an example. And it starts with us, and then we, we've got to go out into the community and show that, you know, no, we're better. We're, we're all better than this. And uh, no, how to how to lead by example. Uh, obviously, this is a difficult situation. Not much control that the Browns players had over this. But I have to believe, Russ and Laura, that as the meetings continue in Berea, mm. there's going to be an emphasis on, hey, let's make sure we're doing the right things. Let's make sure we're in the right place, right time. What's the old saying? Nothing good happens after midnight. I mean, those those types right. of things, you can only do so much sometimes, but I have to believe there's going to be an emphasis from Kevin Stefanski, his coaching staff. Let's make sure we're doing the right things and surrounding ourselves with the right people. And again, that's not blaming the victim. That's just 100%. Being, being smart about something. Exactly. Right. Exactly. All right, Nick, thanks. Thank you.